Hi, I'm Simon. Welcome back to Unplugged Auto. Um, what do you do when you get a hobby? You get friends that are into a similar hobby. <laughs> this is a bike that my mate Mick uh, and myself built. Um, I could show you a before and after picture of it. Bigger carb, um, a few other odds and ends and everything else. We're going to put a new bore kit in it as well when we're there. Uh, I've never done a Z40 cam uh, before, so it's going to be interesting to see what thing. I mean, it's going to be pretty much self explanatory. It's got double valve springs in with the kit, so um, we'll go through what we've got here and then uh, we'll get on and see how we get on. These are the go faster bits that Mix purchased. We peer pressure him into sending them. Basically, we send him links via social media and he's easily persuaded, so um, we've got a Z40 camshaft in here. Which, uh, this is a big valve engine in this, so that should bad boy should go straight in. It's got it comes with a cam gear, and he's got a set of double valve springs. I hope I've got a spring compressor small enough to use those. So I saw that gubbins he's got in there. What else has he got in his box of tricks? Ooh, look at that bad boy! Got a rear hub and assembly. This is so. This is machine. This is from OO Racing, and it's machined down so you can get a smaller sprocket on it, so we can get some more top end. Obviously, you know, pumping out a bit more power with his race cam, so it needs a bit more gear when you get there. You see how close the uh, edge of the teeth is to that. It's a nice bit of kit that. It's quite reasonably priced as well. Uh, what else have you got here? Oh, there's a box and gubbins for it. I don't think we're going to fit that today because that needs painting. So, but we'll get round to that. It's got a brand new carb. The carb he's got on it's a bit, you know, it's not man enough for the job, so he went ahead and ordered another 20, I think it's 24 mil carb, or 26, not too sure. But he's got all that to go on it as well. No cooler here, but I don't think he's fitting that, but it's in here. What else we got here? This is, this is another barrel. So when we've got the head off to do the uh, valve springs, we're gonna freshen it up and we're gonna put a bigger bore in it. and. Uh, so might as well do that because it's another 10 minutes work to put another viral in and a fresh set of rings. So we'll do that while we're in there. And that's all there. Um, what else have we got in here? What have you got in here? Oh, it's a set of gaskets. Is it a chain splitter make you ordered? Yeah. Ah. Don't need that right now because... Oh, and he has got another chain because we have to resize the chain. He's got a... Uh, He's got a 428 chain, he's going from 420 to a 428. So, because that was because when we ordered when he ordered this, this sprocket was they only did it in a 428 gauge chain, so he's having to convert his front sprocket to, to that as well to match. So right, let's have a little look around the bike. This is uh this is Mick Stacks, this is a Zenith, um, the brand, and uh We've got, we'll, get, we'll put a before and after shot on this. This thing was pretty ugly looking when he got it. Shifted bare down to bare frame. He had a brand new engine straight out of the crate, so similar to mine, but that one's a 125. Um, he had a brand new set of forks in it. He had a brand new swing arm, brand new thing. And probably done about 800,000 mile on this. He's had a set of bar risers on it. It's got a nice exhaust on it. All the right bits and pieces you need for one of these. Um, but. It needs a little bit of up and now it's going, so we're going to put a cam in it, uh, we're going to change the ball, put another carb in it, and then uh, hopefully it should, uh, should wake it up a little bit. Uh, he used to have a Titan seat on it, which I like, and I'm sticking by that I like the Titan seat, but he's gone back to a black seat, so that's his bike. He did have some moody blue indicators on it that he's just changed as well. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> No, because then we have to go through like about 20 hours of footage to try and find something that's worth putting on the internet. Yep. That's what we did last time. We were like, yeah, we'll look at her in an hour. Like watching through, we watched the clips for eight hours. <laughs> and, and then, then put it all together for about four hours. It for another eight, uh, eight hours. And then we were like, this, this is going to be a feature long presentation of two hours. <laughs> so then we had to like chop loads of it out. <laughs> How long did it end up being? 50 minutes? 50 minutes or something. <laughs> oh, excuse are you, me. Are you live? Oh, we're recording. I'm are just recording live? that nice big right, burp. Mick, Mick needs to get out of the way. Mick, just put it in your mouth. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we are. I forgot what I was going to say. Right. We're going to start it. Yeah, we're going to start it off. Right, we're going to 
final bike up so we can do a little before and after year. What I will warn you, Vic, though, is this bike is f***ing horrendously noisy. <laughs> It's definitely going to have to do a lot of editing. This is going to be a very edited edit, edit version of this video. Yeah, so. Here you go. Right. We have a lot of seals. A lot of seal noises going on. No panic! It's not even in the shop for this, so we'll pull it back there. Okay? You want to get around the other side stuff and show some of the, uh, the bike off? It was just out of shop, so I just pulled it back. Yeah, the kill worry. switch not work anymore, mate, no? So, we're going to start with uh, pulling the cylinder head off the car. I'm going to see if the valve spring compressing tool I've got is small enough to do those small valves. Um, I think it should be, or not, I'll just, I don't know, I'll wing it. <laughs> um, so right, let's get to a clip of us uh, pulling it apart. How you doing Mick? I'm worried. Oh, you're worried for? Maybe we should take your bike off. Baby's coming. Right. We've got to change this carb. And we could go into like the depths of details on how to do everything, but I mean. Yeah, it's got a new carb to go in it. So we're going to pull this slider pin out. Where's the needle? There's some other gobbins in there as well, like the retaining clips. And then there's a little plate. It's got a lot. And dirt in there. Look at that. Mm. That's filthy. Mm. It's dirty. Too dirty to clean my act up with. <laughs> and then all that, all this lot will slide off, off the cable. And then when we fit in the new cab, we put all that in. But what I'm going to do is, so that we know where we are with this, we're just going to put all this back together. You're gonna do a thumbnail that isn't the side of my head this time. I'll try. Okay. So we're just gonna pull that back together so we can reuse it and we don't lose any of it because this card will probably go on your bike stuff to be fair. Yeah. Yep. This one will it's gonna be good enough for your 110, so. And then see what running <laughs> fuel was off. I don't know who turned that off. Yeah, it is off. Still pissing out though, look. Fuel is going everywhere. <laughs> Smells nice. Okay. Right. Let's pull the whole car off. This is called a spanner. For the people that don't know. <laughs> I'm just undoing this nut. Okay. Oh, hold still, it's not. 
Fast and Furious. Right, this is slow and annoying. Slow and annoying. Right. What have we, what have we got to do? Well, we've got to pull this whole side case off because inside here there'll be a timing mark on the pulley along the uh, generator. And then what we'll do is we'll TDC the motor. This cover will come off and then there'll be a little mark inside here. And we'll put the motor engine at TDC. Then we can pull the whole top end off. Uh, top dead centre. TDC stands for top dead centre, in case anybody was asking. This is bollocks. So nice. I don't know, I thought bones were supposed to be on silent. I didn't, didn't brief that out to the... Um... It's just very nice. One more. Oh, no. Why well, work harder when you can work smarter, eh? That's going to need a new bolt in it. A little bit of fuel been spilt in that, that's no problem. Right, on the on the generator flywheel case, it's got two markings. They mark it with a little, tiny little marker there on the side of the case. And then when we pull this off, which I will in a second, over on the top of the cab, we'll pull this cover off. And in behind that cover is the timing chain and the gear. And then we mark that up. So literally, we want us to put in that for the T. So right there, should be the bad boy. And then when we open up this, we want to make sure that the mark on the cam the mark on the cam matches to the same mark as that, so then obviously it's all in sync. Right, let's pull the other side of that case off. Really simple to pull the uh, cover off. There's a bolt on the other side. You can't miss it, it's a 10mm right in the middle of the... Uh, there's a little 10mm right there in the middle of the uh, cylinder head, and it's a massive long bolt. It runs all the way through the cylinder head. So, we'll just do that, and then look out. Uh, ooh, it's big, that's what she said. So if you can just pull that, pull that out of the way. And then now, you can see your camera gear and time gear. And like I said, you see there's like a little little dot there, right there in the pulley. Can we see that? Yeah? Little dot right there in the pulley, and then there's another cut out here. So that's 180 out, so we've got to spin that round one rev revolution of the uh, crank. And how it works is, the cam is always doing half the speed of the crank. So, I'm <clears throat> going through the compression stroke. So look, so now if we look now, see the T mark on the top? It's right in line with that case. Little notch in the case there. So it's, it's got compression, so it's sliding back. Now if you come back over here, can you see that dot now? It's lining up with the similar slot to that case. So look, when I put it into TDC, that's right where it is. That's where exactly where it wants to be. So when we rebuild with the new camshaft, we've got to make sure that we're in that position. And you've also got to check for the, the angle of the lobes. So which way the thing, because you could still put the cam in 180 out. Um, so we're going to pull the cylinder head off now, but what I've got to do is, I've got to unbolt this pulley, just unbolt that, and the gear comes out, and the thing is, it's spring-loaded inside the case, and then inside there's a little jockey wheel, like a little, uh, I don't know what they call them, like a, like a plastic, like nylon, um, like runner, so that's just holding in with that, so let's rattle that off, let me go get my little impact driver. Eight mil straight inside there. It is an eight mil. I was just checking. Look, see. It's gonna be a nine. It's a nine mil. Oh. <laughs> so that comes out. That comes out. And that comes out. Now I need a screwdriver. Right. 
Right, and this little gear should just pull straight off. See how it just falls straight off for me? There we go. Right, now that's off. When we go unbolt the cylinder head, so 10 mil here, over four 10 mils, we've also got to get the exhaust off because that's bolted in the head. And then that'll come through and then that gear will still be in there. So let's just rattle those bits off. Might need to take this mud guard out because I need to pull the cylinder head forward and it's going to be in the way. So I'm going to pull that off now as well. So. Keep filming or doing whatever you're doing, Steph. That gives us enough room then to pull the cylinder head forward. So let's get a 10 mil spanner out of here. I need to bring the ramp up a little bit, Steph. It's uh, a bit low, so. It's fine with me. There we go. We've no knees left by the end of this at this angle. You can, there's a little stall you can get. And we're going to take the exhaust off. The handlebars are going to hit me in the head again. Uh, we're going to have to have this every video. What, the handlebars hitting me in the head? Hand, handlebars hitting you in the head. Well, had, you can have like a, a handlebars hit head of Simon compilation. Yeah, I think we could do that. Like the greatest hits. The greatest hits of Simon's head, Mac. <laughs> right, we're going to pull <laughs> this down pipe up. We'll pull that down pipe off. There's a little retaining screw there. See, there's like a little retaining screw here on the side of the head. It's gonna come out. I definitely didn't put a flat head in a Phillips head screw. That's gonna like OCD a few people out. And pull. Ah! I missed! And we're undoing the, these head bolts. One of these pulls the oil up from, from the well, from the pump or whatever feeds the oil up through the cylinder head. It comes up through the galley, through one of the bolts. How do you know this, Simon? Because once I changed the nut on it once and didn't put a couple of washer on it, it pissed oil out the end of the head. <laughs> so you've got to make sure these have all got steel bolts. See the, the steel washers? And then one of them, which is this bottom corner one, has a brass washer. And if you get that mixed up, you piss oil out. So now we remember, see how it's got a brass, it's got a brass washer. That's so it steals the oil in. So hopefully we're gonna be able to show you how to fit a Z40 cam correctly. Because I don't know. So this should pull away from here. Right, we've got a little bit of a gap there now, so. I'm going to be replacing that anyway. So, that's the cylinder head off. All right. Two, two valves. Nice and clean. It's a little bit oily, to be honest. It's probably been running a bit rich. Yeah, let's pull that washer out before we lose that. Whee, we lost it. <laughs> so basically, now what we've got to do now is... This cam has got to come out somehow, and I can't remember how. I think it gets bolted down through the top, so let's pull the top cover off. Let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, so we've got, rock, we've got the rocker shafts in there. And that cam should slide out, so I assume we unbolt this side of it. And that cam should slide out of there. Was there like a retaining clip in it? No. Let's bash these two eight mils off the side of it. They're the two eight mils at the side of that panel. This is like a semi oil cooler part on the side of the head. So we've got new gaskets for that. So we hope. No, there is. There's a full headset. There's a full headset of gaskets. So right. So. 
push out? Yeah, it pushes out, so. Okay, let's pull these uh, valve covers off. One off, two off. Right. It's the valves. Might have to mess about with the tappets a bit on this because the the lift in the in the uh, the val um, the camera will have a little bit more lift, so these will need a little bit of a, a just and a feeler gauge underneath them. Good old fashioned adjustable. All right, so who needs hydraulic? It's got nine. <laughs> Bash me here. Follow me. Did that before and you got smacked in the head even harder. <laughs> you need to tie it with string like I suggested before. You know that thing that we didn't do? Yeah, well. So, we're going to back off these valves. Except there is a correct tool for that. It's got like a little... Weird square in it. So you just use like a tiny adjustable. I'm actually worried about how I'm going to get the valve tool down inside there because it looks really tight to get the uh, collets in for the uh, valves. That's got to go out that way. How much it's moving? We can knock. Okay. Oh, I got it right. See, both inside both of these valve guides, and you see inside there, there's like a small thread in there. So we screw a thread or bolt into it, and then we can pull. We can actually pull the pins out for the two valve valve rocker you know, rockers. Let's see if I've got a nut and go in that. Right, so that's gone in there, and then look, if you pull that out, that whole slider pin, I'm gonna put it there. We will be cleaning all this down so there's no dirt or grit or any of it when we rebuild it. That one's gotta go into there. See that screws into there, nice little 30 mil thing. Pull the pin out. Now those rockers should come out of the head. I'll try not to mix them up. This is the exhaust one. And this is the inlet one. And there's that little plate that obviously slides in the side of there. What is that? Now, let's see if the cam comes out. Oh, look at that. So that's our stock cam with the bearings and everything else. So our, our Z40 should just slide straight in and then we just build it back up the opposite way. But we've got to change these valve springs, unfortunately. I can already see, good for us, it's already got double valve springs in. So, I don't think there's any choice in this, really any reason in us changing them springs. The cam gear is different, because it's got two bolt holes in it. And that's our new cam. And you are live, are you? I wouldn't know if these, they're gonna be the same. I think they look like they might be the same. I think the ones that are in I'm there... I'm going to change them anyway. Do you know what? I think the ones that are in there look like they might be slightly higher gauge steel. I'm going to change them anyway because they come with the kit and I'd rather do it properly. So We're going to get over to that bench there in the vice. We're going to put the head in the vice and we're going to pop these little collets out. So, Are you live on your stuff? I'm still recording. I'm still All right. recording. What we're going to do is, it has got double valve springs in it, but I ain't overly happily... Well, I ain't happy that they're going to be the upgraded ones. I mean... We came with valve springs in it, look, we've got valve springs in our kit, so I mean, we're already here, so we might as well try and pop this valve out, put the new valve springs in, because I'd hate to put this cam and build it all back up, and then obviously these springs not be up to the job, so we're going to fit these springs, and let's see if we can get our, um, our valve spring compressor tool in there, so well, let's go back over to the bench.
Okay, so we've got to change the valve springs. We just dragged this cam out. So that's the cam we've taken out. You see how it fits inside that inner race? So it sits inside this inner race here. While the Z40, that it goes in. It's got like all the logo and stuff on it. It goes in there with my oily fingers and sits in the outer race. So hence why you've got to use their, their pulley. And theirs has got two bolt holes in it instead of three. So there's two bolt holes in it. So when you're looking at this, they look completely different than they are, but this, this cylinder head with a big valve head will take this style cam. So that's cool. But we are going to fit the valve springs because I'd just rather have the valve springs and know that they were the ones that match the cam. So let's get it over to the bench and pull these valves out and then uh, see how we get on with that. Let me get it in the back of his voice. Just so I've got somewhere to hold it. You filming my hole? Are you filming my hole? I'm filming your hole. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's get, nice and smooth. Get, get your finger out of my hole. Right, so you see in this valve, you see these two bits either side you can't get. Let me go get a light. I think this bit might be edited slightly. Ah. I think this, the, the, this bit might be edited slightly. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Right, can you see the head of the valve? You see inside there, there's two little half moon collets. Once it's outside, once it's side side. What we'll do is we'll stick like a special clamp in it, we'll clamp that down. I'll pick them up with a magnet, take them out and the whole valve spring, the whole valve spring will come off and the valve. Pull it out, we'll give the valve a little clean and we'll put a new valve spring in there. So, see how we get on with that. Right, where's that valve spring? I think that's going to be... Oh, look, look at, at that. that, it uh, goes in. That's it, so... Do you want to record that going in again? Yeah, look. Oh, look at that. It's in. So that's going to work. It's in there. This is a... Valve spring compressing tool. This is like any automotive place will have one of these, but not most modern places. Most places only fit tires and exhausts, but this is for like changing valve guides and valve stem seals, or when you're doing cylinder head work, someone broke a cam out, you'd pull all this apart with this and then fit new valves. So let's see if this will go small enough to get in here, because it might not. Oh, so. The tool will go into the face of the valve there, so you just make sure you get it straight. And Clamp like that, and then if you come back around there, Steph, you'll see the two collets. See the two collets there, side to side. So we're gonna pick them out with a magnet. So that's both of those on that on the beautiful magnet there. Pick them off, don't lose those. Ooh, nice new magnet as well. Yeah, I know. Stole it off a snap-on one. <laughs> so now we release that. So it's slowly releasing, slowly releasing, and look, the valve spring is given birth. So. The head's going to give birth to this valve spring. So there. So this one did have double valve springs in it. See that, people? you never heard of a head giving birth until now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's now your valve. So you just push that out and your, your little baby valve will come out. So what we've got here now is this is the, the equipment that's in it. So we've got the valve, the, sp the smaller spring from the inner race, from the inside of the other spring. That's the retainer. And you've got the, the bigger spring and then the two collets now what we're going to do is we'll open up this bad boy which are the new ones okay. and as you can see we have a nice seat on the valve so we've got a no no work to do with that no no that just wants to that just needs to clean and it's going back together i'm trying to see if these springs were any different to the ones that were in it you can see clearly one of them's a different height so, so it's a good thing isn't it it's a good thing we did change them because this one's a clearly a different height that one i feel like lighter maybe lighter lighter spring rate maybe they certainly there there's less coils in that new spring so that's probably just to make it snap faster or do something but they're the ones that came with the cam so i'm pretty adamant that these sh should match the cam so I'm, I'm glad i've changed them because they needed doing so right let's put the valve back in we'll give that a clean yeah, sorry everybody, you just have to bear with us, you know, mix destroy in the place. Yeah, so. Right, so that's the valve back in. They're the waste springs. Now, now we're going to go put the new springs in. That's the new springs in. I'm going to drop shit on the floor. Oh. So, so, try and keep it all as clean as possible. And that's going to stay in there. No, it's not. That's staying like that. And we're going to get our tool again. Get it up in there. 
make sure it's sitting face on the valve you're not damaging the head and then squeeze that shut right now the next thing i've got to do is i've got to go get a magnetic screwdriver and a little bit of grease because they can be a pain in the ass to fit the fun part yeah you see that look gotta get that i'm just gonna put a tiny bit of grease. tiny little things with what are you pointing at your these feet? big fat hands what was the tiny into that tiny little hole. What was the tiny little now, thing? Now, you can make a euphemism out of that if you really wish, but uh, we're strictly... Are you referring um, to the tiny PC. little thing as your penis? Nah, talking about being PC, then he goes and ruins it. I ripped my gloves, so luck away. He's ripped something now. He's talking about penis, my, and now he's I've, ripped something. I've ripped my latex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, God, there's grease all over it now. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't help it. Right. There's going to be seals all through this video, you know this. Yeah. <laughs> right, so this, there's probably different methods of this, but this is my method. So I get a little bit of grease and I stick it on, on the tip. <laughs> and then when they get greased up, the tip's nice and greased up. I think this is a pretty standard method anyway, by yeah. those things. And then this is like a tiny little magnetic screwdriver. I come all in, sneak up on it like a ninja. Found you. Oh, oh look, look, look at that. This is like where lots of swearing is involved. It's a good job. It's not like a 16 valve or a 24 valve like car because then your patience really starts to weigh thin. I'm quite surprised my hands are this steady, to be honest. You, you've, uh... So. This, this is why he decided he wasn't going to have a drink last night. So yeah, he's got I, a steady I'm, hand today. I'm, I'm, I'm actually fresh for once for a Saturday. Unlike myself. So. Freddy Flintoff. <laughs> Stop making me laugh, the camera's going everywhere. <laughs> I need a smaller screwdriver. That's definitely not what she said. Anybody ask you to do this, just say no. Okay. Looks like the collets have fall apart. That one's in. That's sort of gone in. No, they're not. Sort of semi in. Let's see. <laughs> semi in. <laughs> We're children, aren't we? No, just you. Okay, so let me just tighten that spring down a bit more so it gives me a bit more. Bit more room and i don't think we'll film doing the other one because you get the gist of it that you put them the, where's that one gone oh, yeah you can even see it fall off no it's gone all the way down there oh no it's like jammed itself between the valve and the this da, 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 very good oh freddy flint off I probably, I'm not doing it. I'm doing this at the best angle for filming, but it isn't the best angle to do it because normally you could you could have gravity help you out here where going down. Oh, fuck off. Maybe you should just now I'm gonna use gravity. I'm gonna persevere. Oh, look at it, it's just sticking. We're gonna have a few Freddy Flintoffs before this is complete. Right. Right, can everybody... See, get in there as close as you can, Steph, so that both of these collets are sitting in place. And this is normally the bit where you go shit or bust. So, watch your, watch your, your camera, ready? And it's just gonna pop in. Look at that. Ooh, I've lost the old, there it is. So, now that, that'll be sitting correct. With both of the collets, you just give it a little Little look. Oh, we're fully zoomed in now, we can't go any closer than that. So, right, we're gonna do the uh, exhaust valve now. So, but it's basically the same as what you've just seen. So there's no point me showing you me, you know, struggling to fit a set of collets in a tiny cylinder head. But if you really wanna watch it, we can do it again. 
Well, let's record it and then we can edit it out if we need to. Oh, well, because something sort of spectacular might happen. Something spectacular may happen. You see the, the two valves? The intake's always larger than the exhaust. It's some sort of... And in this condition, what? the intake is slightly dirtier than the exhaust. Yeah. Well, there's a, there is mathematics and stuff behind why it's bigger. It's something to do with aromatic pressure or something like that. Aromatic pressure? I, I don't know. As atmospheric pressures, that's maybe? It. That's the, that's the... And as you can see there, look, there's the spark plug hole. Yeah, and that's the gist of it. Well, you can see from this angle better with the... Uh, yeah, I've just, just, I've just dropped a collar. Don't tell me. Don't tell Mick, he's only behind us. Shh. I've thought I found it. Don't tell Mick we found it. Oh shit. Oh, no. Don't tell Mick he said shit again. You've lost it this time, haven't you? Yeah, I've lost the collet. Oh. Now, you, now you're glad you're filming now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> That is not a collet. <laughs> what is it? Why have you got a plastic lollipop? <laughs> it's... I don't know. Um, can A, can you see this thing? Where has the collet... There, between your legs. Oh! <laughs> Where? I'm not joking, right there between your legs. There uh, it is. Oh, oh. Oh, no, no. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> see? This is why you keep recording. Is it? Let's edit all that out. To be quite honest with you, it's not very often you're going to hear someone go, There it is, between your legs! That tiny little half moon thing. That little <laughs> semicircle of joy. Yeah. Okay. So, because if you didn't have that, it wouldn't be so much joy. Right, so that's, that's them out. And then, exactly the same procedures we had before. Right. Yank the, the seat part of the valve out. Come on. Two valve springs. I'm... I'm confident this that valve's fine, so I mean I'm gonna give it a little wipe just to just to check its condition. That's all sweet. Looks pretty damn good to me. That's all sweet. How do you see it? It goes in there. We get we get brand new valve spring. I don't think they've got a top or a bottom. They always just seem identical. You know, there isn't like a top or a bottom on it. I suppose we'll find out when it starts going backwards. <laughs> it won't go backwards. So, right, we're going to try and have gravity help us out on this one because, just because. So, so I just record from above. It's fine. The duff from above. The duff from above. <laughs> Shooting stars. Yeah, I remember that Who show. remembers that? That was a good show that was. Right, so, you started to look like Vic Reeves. I'm starting to look like Vic Reeves. No, well, not really, but, but like. Do I look like Vic Reeves? I don't know if you can see me right now. Right. right, we're starting to show our age really badly now, Steph. So, right. Comment below if I look like Vic Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Steph, I'll get okay, carried away. Thank you very much. Um, nice hand. Like and subscribe for Vic Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Make sure you click the bell icon. Yeah, for Vic Reeves. For Unplugged Automotive. Okay. If you want Vic Reeves, go find his channel if he's got one. Feature, I don't know. Featuring Vic Reeves. Featuring Vic Reeves. What was that? What was semi lookalike. He, he had an number one, didn't he? I don't know why we're talking about Vic Reeves. I don't know how this come about. But anyway, I'm putting valve collets in, and, and it should be, I say this, easier. But it, it clearly just stuck to my finger. Mm. Well, we can't see bugger all with the camera today. Oh, there we go. We can see something now. So, slide that little collet. Uh, slide that little it's collet. A little bit, a tiny bit. There we go. Look at that. I need, I need more light. <laughs> not that much light, that's too much light. <laughs> <laughs> too much light for you and not enough for me because I can't see bugger all. Right. There we go. Look Just up. give me the light. Oh my god. Sean Paul. Sean no Paul. Now. Yeah, look at that. Have we got mad skills? Can we get it? Do you reckon we can pop it in in one shot? Let's find out. That looks good. There's some nice greasy collets. But they're there. Um, Not that you can really see them. Yeah, they're, oh, there, they're, they're, there they are. Look. Yeah, and you can see that they're obviously they've they've sat correctly. We finger from up from behind like that. Yeah, so that like ooh yeah. 
<laughs> Zoom out and your finger's not even half so there, that, it's so that, gone. So that's both of our, our new valve, double valve springs fitted, the ones that came with the actual cam. Um, and now we're going to fit that cam and then build the head up. But I've also got a lot of work I've got to do on the rest of the engine. I've got to fit a piston and bore. And I'll show you how to put piston rings on as well. Um, let's go back over to the bench. Come on, boy, over the ramp. Let's go for a walk. Everybody, you want to come with us? Let's go. Oh, there's Bridget. Oh, look. So, oh, right. Look so this is the cam. I would say you ain't got you ain't got to do anything with this. It'll just be fitting it straight. I mean, you probably put a bit of I'll probably put a bit of oil on it before installing it. Nothing wrong with leaving it up a little bit. Yeah, so we'll we'll drop that in a little bit of oil. I'm gonna get some bike oil in the tub. Make sure you use motorcycle oil and not car oil. Car oil has like horrible friction modifiers and, and crap in it. So <coughs> we've got we've got plenty of oil here, so. We're going to just get some motor oil, uh, this, you know, proper bike, castrol bike oil. You could don't use car oil, like I said, they have like friction modifiers in them and stuff, and it will just absolutely destroy your uh, wet clutches. Um, probably be alright in a scooter with like a VVT system, like a. Is this blue? Is this blue? I wanted to have, I was actually thinking of fitting that. But there's no space, just the wood guard needs dropping down. Yeah. Blue. That's 50 shades of blue. Yeah, blue. No, here's another sh different shade of blue. Go on. Blue. There's another different shade of blue. That's one, two. Three, four. That's another shade of blue. Five. Shade of blue. That's five different shades of blue. Uh, including the chain, six shades of blue. Uh, I'll just paint it all black. I'll just paint it all black. <laughs> <laughs> Spent all this time getting blue and then you're just going to paint it black. Oh my god, you nearly didn't have an upgraded head. No, it's by head and barrel. Barrel, yeah. Oh, oh hello. hello. What's this? <laughs> Do you want to see my pleasure ball? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to be keeping this steady and it's <laughs> bouncing around everywhere with me laughing. Stop it now. Right. Pack it in with the jokes. This is a serious channel. It is a serious channel. We've been doing a lot of serious thing. If someone said, I wonder if there's a video online on how to fit a Z40 cam. Well, now there is. And now I'm going to show you how to fit this barrel. Well, let's go then. Okay, right. So, we've just done the bits and pieces to our cylinder head. That's a guide that's going to go down in there. Um, no, not a deal guide. So this is the this is another barrel for mix bike. It's gonna just bore it up a little bit. We'll put a brand new piston in because we're already here and this is not an extra ten minutes work. So we're gonna pull this off. We don't want this cam because oh, we don't want this cam gear because the Z forty one was different. So that's going over there. That's surface requirements. So is that fella? I just want to throw them on the floor. But so just, probably not. Some really people run with no base gasket sometimes to try and you know up the compression a tiny bit, but we're not gonna do that. So right, we're gonna. Pull all of his old bits apart now. We've got a 10 mil. Little 10 mil on the side of the ball. That's gasket. There's our new gasket kit. We've got a top end gasket set. It's the one that came with the uh, bits as well. There's another lot in there. So there's a little little retaining uh, note in the in the side here. Let me take that fella out. Whee! Yay! So that comes out. I can't remember if I pulled that guide wheel off or not. Uh, yeah, we're going to need it off anyway, so. Pull that, pull that, pull that lovely piece of thing out. It's got like a little retainer. And then inside here, there's a little, ooh, a little wheel. And then this should pull off here. Oh, I'm going to need a bigger primer. So then, uh, providing everything's off, which it is, this little puppy breaks off like that. And then, it's like back in, like I said, there's, there's a little, little, little guide wheel in here. So that little guide wheel comes out. Pull the cylinder head all the way forward. And there's the piston. There's our bore and piston. This this is in in good shape anyway. I mean, there's not really a massive amount of work. It's got. It looks a lot worse in the video than it actually is. It's just it's just glare. That's an actual. That's you an, can still see the honey marks. Yeah, that's okay. So, uh, so that baby's coming off. On the on the head of the piston, it's got in written on it. So that's obviously points towards inlet. So when you're putting in your new piston, 
Um, with two strokes, it's really critical because the rings have to go past like uh, intake galleys and stuff uh, that are in the bore. Uh, but in a four stroke, it's obviously not as uh, important. They normally have like a little ridge where the rings have to sit. This isn't it. You've got your compression ring, then you've got obviously like an oil scraper ring at the back, and then there's, uh, there's two rings in that, and then obviously that just picks up the waste oil and slides it back down to the bore. So let's get our new bore, which is somewhere. Where's our new bore? Thank you, my lovely assistant. <laughs> so we're just going to check this against this, and it, it all looks bang in, and it looks bang on. We gotta get a gasket and scrape all this uh, old gasket off. But yeah, that's gonna be bang on. So we're just gonna check the uh, piston and stuff. So here's our new piston. Yeah, all looks all looks banging. That's in our new ball. Or it's a versa. You can see the, the size difference slightly in the piston. This one won't go in this ball. Um, I think this takes up to about 140, about 138 with this bore kit in it. So he's gone from 125 to 139 or something like that. So, uh, but that's all for this gear. And just check the pistons the, the same height and depth, which they are, you can tell from there. And then the Gudgeon pins inside there are the same size as well. Uh, I don't know if we've got a Gudgeon pin with the kit. Yeah, we did. So there's... There's our Gudgeon pin and our rings, and it's got little retainers, and I think one of them's missing. Unless it's in the box. There's, it should be. Well, we'll have another snap ring inside one of the old pistons, so it's not like a big cry. Yeah. So, let's open this up with my lovely oily hands. Greasy. So, they're the rings. There's a Gudgeon pin, and there is the the little lock ring for the Gudgeon pin. Solitary ring. Um, is there one in there? No, it's not even in there. Oh no, oh, is it? Yeah, it's in there. So it's in there. There we yeah, go. Yeah, so, so literally when we put it in, we just slide the Gudgeon in. Gudgeon will go all the way through. Stop on the other side. <coughs> I mean, this is mainly useless information for anybody who's like you know half knows bikes, but. I'll leave it like that, and we're going to try and fit these rings. So, try and identify the rings. That one's going to be. You got a silver, a light silver, and a dark silver ring. So the light silver ring's the outer one, but we've got to start with the thing. So we start with these little, they're real thin, dark, really thin. Can you see that on the video? Yeah. Those, 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 those super thin rings, and then. Uh, we put them over that, and we're going all the way to the bottom bottom ring with these with these tiny little holes in the piston, and that's the uh, oil scraper ring. So let's just uh, do this without breaking them. Oh god, I really want to take my gloves off, but I don't want to get f***ing on my hands. I say f again, Freddie Flint. That's all. See you. Freddie Flint off. <laughs> Freddie Flint off. See you. Okay. And then. rings really fast you'd be sonic wouldn't you you know what I mean oh my god he's all about rings <laughs> if you like to then you should have put a ring on it oh success rings success. right so come over here come over here you see the two rings sit in between this like half metal like gauze and that's obviously they're the scraper rings and they you can see that they're sitting correct now so as I said prior, prior to this is the bright silver ring is always the compression ring and then the darker one. Someone could probably correct me on that, but we're gonna clean all this bit down before assembly. It says D on it. Hmm, so that goes in that. K. 
careful because believe it or not I actually have broke rings fitting them I have done it before more than once no a couple of times maybe you're just a bit a bit heavy handed I remember when you were building the piston rings on the um, the AR125 and and how many piston rings did we go through in one sitting I can't remember I think it was two or three yeah maybe yeah, but it had a 150 piston and it was bigger and I didn't know what I was doing. This was back in the day when he didn't know what he was doing. I just did know what I was doing. I make out like I didn't know what I was doing. There was always a day when you don't know what you're doing. Okay. And today I tell you, I tell you one is thing, not that day. I tell you one thing I haven't checked is whether or not that bore is going to fit inside the block. Because if it don't... Well, there's an easy way of that. Have you got a caliper? No, I'm just going to try and fit it. How's that? Is that the best? Yeah, line it up. Well, it shouldn't be. It should be slightly bigger, but whether or not it goes inside the thing. No, because the, um, the ball will be slightly different. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're sound. Don't worry about we're it. We're good. Don't even worry about it. Don't even know why. Simon you... forgot about the inner ball rather than the outer ball. Don't even it's know. It's okay. Don't, don't worry about, about it. it. <laughs> Get in here. You see that? There's a little, little, little ring. We're going to pop that bad boy out and it goes flying. No, it don't. Huh? Oh, I thought it's, it's a good thing I wear glasses. What, in case it's coming out and going in your face? Yeah, right, if it's for scratching my glasses then... Right, so we're up behind that now. Can you see that? That's what she said. Yeah. And I'm going to stick with four it <laughs> deep inside it. Right, so we, we're going to get the Gudrun pin, pull I it think. out. And to believe it or not, I'm actually curious why they don't have small end bearings in them, but obviously it's just like a brass fitting. It only goes backwards and forwards, doesn't it? It doesn't rotate that fully, does it? Yeah, okay, so here's his new piston. Here's new good jump in. I'm gonna drop him in there. He's like that. And then Was that you? <laughs> no. And we're gonna drop that straight through there. Okay. And remember saying that obviously that the piston's got in written in it on the top of the on the top of the face of the valve obviously pointing towards the inlet some of them have arrows and you always point the arrow towards whatever direction it wants to go uh where's my little flyer in this case it would be up and we're going to put these bubbles in i'm just going to back up you ain't going to be that bad sure hear that nice little satisfying clip Right, now I've got to clean up all the face of this. I'm going to clean up all the face of the, uh, the block. Get all the old gasket off. We need our base gasket. Uh, yeah, I know, but there's one in there. Oh, double, double, double gasket. Yeah, well, anything. he ordered a gasket and then I peer pressured him into buying the cylinder. Ah, shit. I'm, I'm just going to spasm. Ow! Okay. It's because I've been holding the hand up constantly. So we're going to drop this gasket in. Down the, down the studs, through the piston. Whee. And then the chain is going to go through it. And that's it. Right. And the whole ball. I said previously, we're going to have to put this little seal, little rubber seal goes in there. Press that in. Oh, 
Right, here's our, here's our new bore. What I'm gonna do with this is, just gonna put a nice film of oil in that because when we go for startup, we don't want the bore to be dry. So I'm just gonna put a nice amount of engine oil inside the, uh, the bore so it's nice in there. Slippery, because believe it or not, slippery pistons make your engine faster. The little guide wheel, it's got to go back in. Make sure it's got no dirt or crap on it. So, drop the chain through. So we're coming down to the piston now. And there. Piston fit and tool maybe, have you got one? No, no, I, 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 I do them by hand. Oh. So, um, right, I'll push the piston rings in by finger and thumb, like that. So that's one set of rings, one ring gone in. I suppose that's the bonus of having a smaller piston. Can you try and do that with a car piston? You have I have done it. Where there's a will, there's a way. So that's the next one done. Just make sure it's not there. Right. Oh, I can't the oil one straight in. No, it's not in yet. Oh, okay. I'll take it back, the oil one didn't go straight in. You want to see around the other side? Yeah, let it go in there. Sit. Boom. And we're in. Right, so. And we're going to drop the chain through the, through the head. That's where my magnet would have come in handy, wherever it's gone. There it is. So There's no back or front to that, it just goes in. Then we want that, that one, one of that bit. It goes in. It's like, the guide for the uh, the little uh, runner for the chain to run down. Basically, stop it from bouncing. They actually, the 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 chain adjusters in the in the bottom end. Uh, it's like a big spring-loaded roller that's behind the uh, stator. <coughs> I'm going to speak up and be clear so you can hear me properly, but. And that's our uh, little jockey wheel thing. I'm gonna push the head all the way to home now. So that's gone all the way, all the way home. And if you look at the front now, loads of that lovely oil has come out of the uh, front of the bore. So let me know that the piston's lubricated and whatnot. I'm going to be putting this new camshaft in, so I'm just going to lay that inside this head. Like I said before about the races being slightly bigger, so there we go, and that's that bad boy in there now. Pushed it all the way to the base. Um, yeah, that seems hokey pokey, doesn't it? Oh, actually. You want to go in and tap it in a bit further, I think it does. So. Hmm. I can see that the bearing on the other side doesn't want to match up to that side of that case. So. It doesn't you see how the, the extra flex in the bear in the camshaft there. Going on there, but I might have to push that bearing off. Also unsure what that thing is. It's got like a one-way clutch in it. Stop the engine working in reverse when you start it up. Might do actually. I don't know why though. I think we might have to push that knock that bearing off the back of that one and put this bearing on. I think the back bearing in the case, the front one's gonna be fine. But Thinking about you might have to change both of them. Is that just not going in far enough? Yeah, well no, because it was it was in the right 
location, it's just that duck buck, not the buck, oh, but the bear yeah. is bigger. So, I'm going to try and knock that bearing off the end of there. I'll press it out. That's one bearing off. That's out. This is that, whatever that, it's got like a one way clutch in that. Let's have a look at the one. It's got like a. But you've got the same. What? We're not fitting that, because I think it does something that it's not meant to do. I'll get an issue, I'll go back in and take it out, I'm not bothered. <coughs> but obviously it's not fitted to this camshaft so they don't use it, so <coughs> it might be a governor or something, I don't know. Well yep. some form of anti vibration. <laughs> no, it'll be I don't know, it'll stop it from twisting. I think it's a governor. Yeah, it's got a retaining spring, it's got a pushback spring on it, look. Yeah well. Oh, yeah, you know, it could be something to do with the valve timing adjustment. It could be. It's got, it's got VTEC. <laughs> this is the VTEC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unlikely, but yes. <laughs> VTEC, baby. Well, that one don't want to come out. It's because this one's tighter. Good thing I kept a hold of that, it yeah. on the floor. So, um, that, that's the smaller bearing. Oh, that's the, that's me juggling with the cam. So, let's bolt, tap that. This is not normally how we do it, but we don't have a, uh, a press here at the moment. We do, I was just being lazy. Oh, okay then. <laughs> oh yeah, the press is over there, yeah. I didn't even spot it before. Then we've got a press. Okay then, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you use the press and not a hammer. Well, there's nothing wrong with hitting a bearing with a hammer. As long as uh, you don't... You've got experience, then you know how to do it, and it's okay. You know how to do it. Yeah. But for the less experienced people, they should probably use a press. You should always use your lolly to you whack, your, to you whack your bearing. I'm going to put it on. Let's see if we can get this cam all the way in now. So. That's better. And that's all the way in. Now you can see now that other bearing sits perfectly inside there. So, so I'm just doing these by by feel for now, just so so we can do the first fire up, and then once it's run up, we can uh, reset them. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's basically the Z40 cam fitted. Hopefully now when we use this pulley, that'll go into there and it'll all be hickety boo. Like I said, it, so it's a bit of a nightmare actually, even though like, <laughs> it's a big valve head, it still didn't want to take that correct bearing on the back, so we just pressed the bearing off and put it in the other side. So let's get the cylinder head on, let's just wipe that down a bit. Get all the dirt and grease and crud off it, and then and drop this bad boy onto here. Bring the chain, Tommy chain, up into the head. Trap your finger. Yeah, magnet. And get the valve up into the head, a little bit of a squeeze. Right, now I'm going to just put a bolt in there to stop the cam from the chain from falling back in the head. Then we're just going to get that wipe, just get the head plate on. These have a certain way of going on. 
got it the right way. Copper washer went on the bottom right hand corner, which is that one. And then just normal steel washers on all the rest. I'm missing a head bolt. Oh no, I'm not. So. Then we're just going to lightly tighten it down. We're not going to full send it yet. We're just going to bolt it down in sequence. So, up, up, just to get it to sit up too. And there's another, another bolt goes in there. Very good clearances in this. That's that gasket gone, but we've got another one of those, so it's not a big deal. Do, do, do. Let's peel that gasket off. We're just gonna butt that up to that. Try and do these head bolts in opposite corners to each other to help it go down square. So, it's looking nice and fresh, isn't it? Shame Mick doesn't clean his bike because you can just tell by a bike that's neglected. Just sits in the kitchen. Just sits in the kitchen is how it does. Yeah. Just look at it. Dreaming about going out for a ride. Yeah. <laughs> You'll learn one day, Mick. Right. There's going to be official talk settings for doing these, but do you know what? I just do them tight. <laughs> so I've got like a uh, natural built torque meter into my arms, so I know exactly how tight it is. Yeah, click, 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 click. You just do them tight. Not over tightening them, obviously. You can see all that gasket's now all sat correctly. All sits here, sits here. And what we're gonna do is build it up dry. No spark plug in it, turn it over, because we don't not just go straight ahead and kick it, because if the timing's slightly out, or the valve, the new, because obviously we're not too sure how this cam is gonna sit in with this valve setup and stuff. I've put a tiny bit of play in them on. And then hopefully, obviously, we'll just turn it over by hand, make sure all the clearances are fine. <coughs> and then uh, we'll put the new carb on, which we've also got. And we'll fire it up. Bang on there now. It's bang on TDC there. Yeah, okay, we'll just hold it there. <sighs> Nine mil. We're on TDC there. We couldn't get any closer to TDC. And that's TDC there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, can relax. okay. So that's all together. I said they're a bit of a faff, but it's all doable. So with that there is TDC bang on with that on the new pulley. Like I said, this one's got two bolt holes instead of the three that the other one has. <coughs> and in 100 cent fairness, this cam could still be 180 out because you could get that cam and turn it 180 
but I think we've got it in the right way. So we'll turn it over by hand, make sure it's sucking down and blowing out so we know we've got the cam in the right way. Because if it's the opposite way around, you put that cam 108 out, it'll actually suck in through the intake and out for the intake. And I've seen on all American V8s, they take the camshafts, put them in the wrong way, and they can have the intake and exhaust in the opposite ports. Uh, it's just a bit odd in that, but it works. So they do do odd shit in America. So, right, let's just turn this over by hand. So we're gonna go for a full rotation. So there seems to be no binding, no catching anything. I can see the valve intake, the intake valve going in and out nicely. So now it'll be on the intake stroke. So see it's sucking in the intake valve there, pushing back out, all seems fine. and. Hunky dory, so let's just stick my hand on here, see if we're uh, making some. Let's just make sure we're going the right way first. Uh, seems to be okay, but I've got no spark plug in it, so I'm not going to get a lot of compression anyway. So let me just screw that in, just to make sure this intake's sucking and instead of blowing, so I know I've got the cam in the right way. Do, do, do. So I've got the spark plug just screwed in, hand tight. That's a 14. Let me just stick that on there so I can uh, turn it over a little bit easier. So that's 100% like sucking in. You can hear it popping out of the intake. So yeah, I'm happy with that. That's fine. that's making loads of vacuum. So. I'm, under, I'm happy that the cam's in 100% the right way. We've turned it over multiple times and it's it's not binding or, or doing anything else. It's got plenty of compression in it. So, right, let's carry on building up all the rest of the auxiliaries, all the covers, the caps, thingy. This cover can go back on. New carb and then we're going to be firing it up. Um, we've got obviously same braking period. He's got to probably do two hours and then another oil change. Um, and no going above really half throttle or hard revving it until you've done that. So uh, we'll carry on building this up and then we'll see what it sounds like when we start it up. We've got his new carb fitted. Um, it's a 26 millimeter, I believe. Um, we had the issue we had, the cover that went on here, it had two little like prongs or locating pins and they buried themselves into the cam. So uh, we had to take a, a grinder and just clean them off. Um, new carbs on, uh, fuel's on. So it should be pissing fuel out of the fuel tap, like it is. Not. <laughs> uh, why is that leaking? Okay. Okay. Bottom of the fuel bowl's decided to start leaking for some reason, while the bottom of the fuel tap. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, yeah, so he's pretty much ready for a start up, uh, providing there's fuel in the car. Um, <coughs> should be plenty of oil in it. You right there? I found this thing to trip on. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, we're going to pull it down. We're going to attempt to start it. Um, we'll just leave it idling for a couple of minutes, and then after that, we'll check everything over again, and then we'll, you know, see how it goes. See what it sounds like. Right. So we've got it built up. Um, we're going to give it a go. I don't think it, the fuel's flowing that well. It's a small leak from the fuel tap, so um, let's give it a go. See what fire or see what it run like. You watch the top end; will be tapping his head off. Right. Oh. Choke off, maybe.
Tap it's now it's run up and then uh, you should be good to go. Where with them, after running it for a little while, I've pulled all the top end up, I pulled the, the tap it out, redid all the clearances, and uh, it sounds loads better. The top end's better. I mean, I'll fire up for you. So, the top end's really quieting down now. Um, it's hard thing here, I mean, seems to be revving up for you. Got a nice uh, wrap to the uh, that cabin it seems to make a massive difference in these. So we just went up and down, up and down the road on it, and a little blast on it, and it, it seems to pull him like a soldier. It's got so much more mid-range grunt in it, especially with the carb house as well. Um, we've got plenty more stuff to do on videos and stuff. We've got um, my trike project, uh, my dad's cafe, um, and we've got a couple of bits and pieces we can do that will be quite entertaining and a good laugh to do. So. Um, like the channel, subscribe though, and at least let us know that you enjoyed the video. If you don't, if you hate it, let us know. And uh, we'll definitely be back and trying to do a video of them. We're just doing it for a fun, you know, me and my mates. And uh, we seem to do a mess about with a lot of stuff. And we thought, do you know what, we might as well just make a video out of it and keep it, you know, like for ourselves. So if you like the, the videos we do, uh, let us know. Um, ciao for now.